All right, here's the other part. Uniglo's first automated warehouse cuts manpower by 90%. The Yumuri Shimbun Fast Retailing Company, which operates the Uniglo Apparel retail chain, unveiled to reporters on Tuesday a warehouse in the Eri Ake district of Tokyo where a robotic system automatically conducts work such as inspections and sorting apparel goods. The system started full scale operations this month resulting in a 90% reduction in manpower at the location according to the company. This company's first warehouse in which most of the work has been automated. The robotic system is designed to transfer products delivered to the warehouse by truck read electronic tags attached to the products and confirm their stock numbers and other information. When shipping, the system wraps products placed on a conveyor belt in cardboard and attaches labels to them. Only a small portion of work at the warehouse needs to be done by employees, the company said. The company developed the automated system by remodeling an existing warehouse in collaboration with Defuku Company, a leading provider of material handling systems. Automating one warehouse costs about 1 billion yen to 10 billion yen, 9 million to 90 million dollars. Tadashi Yanai, chairman and president of the company, nevertheless said at a press conference, I want to introduce the system at our warehouses across the world within a few years. Like I said, this is a warehouse cut that cuts uh, manpower by 90 percent. And it does it. Uh, with apparel now we have a lot of people that that came out of retail and have a lot of your big box warehouses that have shut down uh because it was brick and mortar so you have a lot of people flowing into like walmart warehouses and amazon warehouses and stuff like that now imagine imagine as many people are that are working at an amazon warehouse if they cut 90% of their employees within a year or two. And how much money can you save if you spend $100 million building a factory that didn't have people? $100 million is a drop in the bucket. And that's $100 million at the top. We're talking about a big warehouse. Uh, what if you want to set up a lot of regional small warehouses that do the same thing without employees, with damn near without any employees? And this is just beginning. This this is already here. And this is just starting. And a lot of your folks uh, that came out of uh, the brick and mortar had to go into warehouses and, and distribution, you know, because the retail is dying. Retail is online. And the sorting, uh, the, the sorting and distribution has been done by people. So what if you can get goods that have been manufactured, shipped, sorted, distributed, and delivered without human hands? And that sounds funny. It sounds impossible. And that sounds like it's 20, 30 years away, except it's not because all the different components to do this are already here. They haven't been linked up, but they're already here. Self-driving cars, self-driving trucks, um, Robots that can walk or drones that can actually have wheels can actually uh, deliver packages. Say you have Amazon Go or Amazon uh, Distribution and then normally Amazon uh, has human beings deliver the package, right? What if they have um, access to your house and they want to deliver a package but you don't trust a human being? If a drone is doing a drone, just walks in the house, drops the package off and walks back. It doesn't care about anything else. So, folks, this is not coming. It's here. And the only thing is, is how fast will it accelerate? How fast will it take over? We don't know. How far will your regulatory bodies allow this this uh, automation or technological push? Again, we don't know. Is it going to be 30 percent, 40 percent, 50 percent, 90 percent? We don't know. And I don't think anybody does. But it's something that we have to look at. We have, we have to looking at it, We're looking at it. We have to keep an eye on and play it by ear, because at this point, we really don't have any choice. Uh, two and a half years ago, I told you that 
<laughs> this was coming down the pike and it's coming down the pike a lot faster than they're letting you on. And uh, two and a half years later, even though I knew it was obvious, because if you look at the uh, environment which it exists and you look at other arms races or uh, technological races, because arms race is just a technological race. It's it's uh, it could be what happened with the Russians in the United States as far as space, because I remember the uh, in 59, I do believe they sent up Sputnik and it scared the crap out of the United States and. They, uh, you know, they poured all their money and in their their know how into actually uh, one upping Russians. And uh, we got this big advance in technology because of that. Now we're going to have a technological arms race with China and the United States is just ramping up where China has is already ramped up. China's already on the freeway. We're just ramping up, even though we might be uh, one I say off ramp ahead of them, but the thing is they're already at speed. And by the time we hit the on ramp and get on the freeway, we have to accelerate and they're, they're already accelerating. They're already at speed. So can we accelerate fast enough to actually catch some of the things we have to accelerate? And what, what is that going to mean for us? Because Japan is an authoritarian country, whether we like to think whether they're democratic or not, they're actually an authoritarian country. They just did this. If Amazon did this, uh, right now, where 90% of the workers weren't in the, in the warehouse, man, that United States would be, you know, you'd have advocates wailing left and right. But in Japan, they say nothing. They're just waiting for it to expand. Prepare, folks. That's all I can say. Prepare, folks. The environment is going to change very, very quickly. And black folks need to be out ahead of this. And what can we do? Nobody knows. Where where will it stop next? Nobody knows because this is going to be like a tornado. It's going to touch down, devastate a section, and then it's going to lift back up and touch down someplace else. It's not going to be a straight line. So I'm going to jump off of here. This is BGS out, and I will see you guys on the next one.